All right, good morning, fifth grade. Um, I apologize for the video coming out a little bit later, um, but we did have our first rosary meeting today. Um, hopefully you're all able to make it. I saw a few of you. If not, we'll have another one next Wednesday at the same time at 8.45. Hopefully you can all join us, okay? Um, and and yeah, hopefully you all can join us. Um, it's, it's right now especially an important time for prayer. Um, and it's nice to see, you know, like the whole school join us in prayer so so please please uh join us next week at eight forty five on wednesday if you can okay but in any case um let's go ahead and get started please be sure that you are filling out those google forms those are those you need those for credit um and you will have a short math quiz um tomorrow five questions um but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I actually want to go over a question from uh, your lesson 12 worksheet from yesterday. Um, and really, we've been working on word problems, right? And so let's go ahead and just try and, and just try to work out this one right here, because I thought it was a pretty cool one. Um, and it says, create and solve a story problem about two friends and their weekly allowance whose solution is given by the expression this right here okay now really the important part is just to create a story problem and the solution so the answer to your problem is going to be given by this equation here meaning that you have to use this equation to try and um, create a problem so Let's see. Well, first, let's think of two names. Um, Guadalupe and let's say Mary. It's the month of month of Mary. Mary. So those are our two characters. Um, I know it says about their weekly allowance. Weekly allowance is just um, how much their parent pays them per week for doing chores, but let's not worry about that because, I mean, I, when I was growing up, I didn't have an allowance. So let's just, don't worry about that part. Let's just create a word problem with these two characters. Um, but anyways, we have Guadalupe and Mary, and somehow we have to create a problem so that we're using these three numbers right here. Uh, hmm, so let's see. Well, we can say that Guadalupe bought 12 pieces of candy all right we'll start off with that next up I can write that She later bought, oops, sorry, eight pieces of candy. Now I'm going to write that Mary ate one fifth of Guadalupe's. total amount of candy. How much candy did Mary eat? So how do we solve this problem right here? We have to make sure that it's solved by this equation. All right. So let's say that you were to come across this problem right here. Guadalupe bought 12 pieces of candy. She let her, She later bought 8 pieces of candy. Mary ate a fifth of Guadalupe's total amount. How, I forgot to put, how much candy did Mary eat? Well, we're going to have to start off with how much Guadalupe bought. Guadalupe. 
and she bought 12 plus 8, right? And then Mary ate a fifth of that. So one fifth times her total. But remember, if I just have my equation like this, then that's saying that she ate a fifth of only the 12, right? Because at this point, we're kind of just multiplying one and a half times 12, but that's not the case because Mary ate the total amount of Guadalupe. So that means we have to add some parentheses here. Remember, the parentheses tell you what you need to do first. So now we know that we have to add the 12 plus eight first. 12 plus eight, that is 20. And now we could go ahead and multiply one fifth times 20. I have one times 20 over five. That's gonna give me 20 over five. So that's like saying five divided by 20. And I know my answer is four because five goes into 20 four times. And that's my answer. And you could have come up with your own word problem. Um, it didn't have to be this one, this one just my um, example, but you could have done a most. I'm sure that all of you did something else differently, but it's just important that you use these numbers right here. Okay, I know that some that maybe you might have gotten confused on this question, but it's 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 like creating your own word problem. Okay, but anyways, let's uh move on to today's lesson, and today's lesson, uh, everybody is more word problems. And again, really the only thing I can, um, the only thing I can tell you all is that it really just, it really just, um, hang on, let's see, we are on lesson 12, right? Yeah, we are on lesson 12 now, page 183, you did Lesson 11 yesterday. I should have done it. All right. I did number six for you already. And so now we're on lesson 12 today. Now, really, it's going to be more word problems, everybody. So it's really important that you follow, you know, like a plan. You have to make a plan, a UDCL model. Because you know how to do the math. The math, it's just this part. It's just stuff like that. We know how to do that. We know how to do this right here. We know how to multiply fractions. This is the only thing you're doing, except that now there might, you might just have to add on an extra step, or you might have to um, add fractions or subtract fractions. But anyways, let's go ahead and do number one as a class. So number one says, Terrence finished the word search in three-fourths the time it took Frank. Okay. Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds the time it took Terrence. Okay, so it's kind of starting to sound like a puzzle. Frank finished the word search in 32 minutes. How long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? Oof, all right. Well, the easy part for this one is, I think, that I know my U. My U is how long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? That's what I need to solve for, right? So I know that whatever answer I get, it should be answering this question. Next up, draft a plan. I don't know. I really don't know. I have maybe have to multiply or add. Now let's go ahead and make the plan. So I have a lot of characters here. I have Terrence, but finished, he finished three fourths the time. So three fourths of Frank. Now, why did I write that? Because that's what this first sentence says. That Terrence finished a word search in three fourths the time it took Frank. So that means in order to find how long it took Terrence, it's going to look like 3 fourths times Frank, times the amount that Frank took. Okay? Now, well, how long did it take Frank? Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds of the time it took Terrence. All right? 
So then I have to add another one, Charlotte. And how should the equation look for Charlotte? Exactly, two thirds of time and take Terence. Oh man, it's kind of it is kind of like a puzzle, right? But that's okay, cause cause puzzles are fun. And now Frank finished in thirty two minutes. All right, there you go. How long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? Okay, so do I want to know? My question is asking me how much did Charlotte take? So that's what I need to solve for. All right. Well, let's go ahead and look at the equation for Charlotte. For Charlotte, I need to multiply two thirds times Terence. Oh man, but I don't know Terence yet. But I can find Terence, right? Using which equation? Exactly, the top one, right? The top equation, this equation right here will let me know how long he took. So let's see. For Terence, I'm gonna put T for Terence. It took him three fourth times however long Frank took. And how long did Frank take? They gave me that, 32 minutes. And now look, now I have an equation that is easy. T is equal to three fourths times 32. I multiply three times 32, that is I'll tell you it is, let's see, 96. And then I have 96 over 4. I need to divide that. 4 divided by 96. 4 goes into 9, 2 times. 1, I drop down my 6. 4 goes into 16, 4 times. So my answer is 24. So now I, I know how long it took Terrence. How long did it take Terrence? Exactly, 24 minutes. And now take a look at here. Now I can solve for Charlotte because it took Charlotte two thirds the time it took Terrence. Which means if I wanna find Charlotte, I'm gonna do it here and put C for Charlotte. It took her two thirds times Terence, which took him 24, now I know that number. So my equation is gonna look like two times 24 divided by three. I have to go up here now. Two times 24, that is 48. So I am dividing 48 divided by three. So let's see what our answer is. Three goes into four one time. I've dropped down my eight. Three goes into 18, six times. So my answer is 16. So it took Charlotte how long? It took Charlotte 16 minutes, okay? And that's really, everybody, how you should be organizing your stuff. Every problem is different. For some problems, it'll, it might have been helpful if you drew it, right? Some of you might want it to draw a rectangle and and figure it out that way, that's fine. But the important part is that you make a plan with these word problems, okay? But that's basically it for today. You're gonna finish lesson 12 worksheet, so that is page 183, 184, and 185, but I already did number six for you, okay? And now for your science, let me show you. You're just gonna go ahead and finish off the uh, the reading from yesterday. So, oh no, that's fourth grade. You don't to be inhuman. This one, and you're just gonna finish off the worksheet, okay? So this one. I mean, you're gonna finish off reading it and then tomorrow you'll take the test, okay? But that's it, everybody. A Zoom meeting at one today. Have a great day.